today we're going to be looking at a van that was originally intended as the backbone of Deutschland but now is the source of sexual arousal for crag rats and bag cultists all over Britain. It is of course the Volkswagen Transporter T4. That's funny. Just won't start. Haha, <laughs> I know. Sick man! The type of person you're gonna see driving this van. It's gonna be some bloke with long hair. And they'll have a bandana with a trippy pattern all over it. They'll have a weird fish t-shirt that looks like it's been sat at the desk of a classroom full of five-year-olds with Crayolas. And they'll have some pyjama bottoms on. Again with a trippy pattern, but they'll have the bottoms cut off so they're almost like three-quarter length shorts. And all this will be finished off by a pair of plimsolls. This is December we're talking about here. Come summer, he's not going to have much on at all. All he's going to have is a very, very short pair of Patagonia pants that he borrowed off his sister. Then you'll see him parked up somewhere like this all weekend, outside the toilets of a National Park Tourist Information Centre, because he doesn't have any other choice. Because instead of buying a proper camper van with toilet facilities and all that, he just bought a van with a sink in the back. So he's got to rely on the taxpayer to provide all his sanitary needs. Then of course, there's a the free Wi-Fi, so he can update his Instagram with pictures of all the local landmarks. Not that the internet's already full of photographs of all the local caves and mountains because, you know, people have been photographing them since the camera was invented. Oh no, this is different because he's got some filter on it and an edgy caption about how wholesome and what a vibe it is that he's camping in a van outside a local shithouse. Well, let's have a look around the van. But first, I need to put these plastic gloves on. This is actually the first vehicle I've ever had where there's been actual mould growing on the outside. This isn't tree sap, it's mould. So I dread to think what it's going to be like inside. Right. What have we got in here? Nail clippers set. Perfect for the family. Oh, I mean, look at this silly bitch they've got as a gear knob. I mean, look, when you put it in reverse, it breaks this plastic trim off here. Who buys this shite? I suppose that is the only woman anyone who drives one of these is going to be touching. We've got these dub seat gloves. I mean, what's wrong with some unbranded seat covers? And what the hell's this, you know? It's like some sick cult. And you know how members of the Waffen SS used to have blood type tattoos on their uh, armpits. Well, I'm fairly sure all these V-dub cultists all have Volkswagen tattoos somewhere on the body. There we go, look, I'm now a member of SS Panzer Division V-dub. And because I'm a super sad cunt, I've been awarded the T4 badge that I wear like the Iron Cross. This is about all these are good for. Fuck off. As with all the vehicles I buy and sell, it has a comprehensive service record. It was last serviced in 2003 on 112,000 miles. It's now on nearly 300,000. Oh, and it had the cabin filter changed. Oh, and there's what looks like a giant bollock that could go on the gear stick in place of that woman, depending on the owner's sexuality. And we've got some stickers to remind you that you're driving a van. I mean, look at this. There's no door handle and there's no window winder. What good is that? And the people who buy these, they buy all this shit for their van. They buy these stupid wheels and the stupid paint jobs and stupid seat covers, but they neglect to do any basic maintenance. I mean, it's a fucking door handle for fuck's sakes. It's essential. Down and open it from the outside. Oh wait, I can't do that either. Oh. And now this one won't open. Oh, fucking piece of shit. So 
now you've got to remember to take a set of mole grips around with you at all times just so you can get out of the bloody vehicle. Oh, there is a window winder. Oh, but it doesn't fit this van. I mean, what the fuck is that? Fucking rolling pin. Someone called Tony Hawk, he's left his fucking wheel. Right, let's have a look in the back. Let's have a look in the back. Well, it looks like what can only be described as a squat. Let's see if we can get some light on the job. No. Well, that's fantastic, the interior light switch. A grand total of one of these lights work. Uh, there's a black sheet beer glass which is obviously stolen from a local pub which makes sense because usually you get a pub round here and a group of about seven people will turn up in one of these, crag rats, they'll go into the pub and they'll have one pint between them all, they'll share it because they've got no money and they'll sit there all night taking that table up away from paying customers and then at the end of the night they have the cheek to take the glass home with them. Some more stickers to remind you when you're getting into the back that you're actually getting into a van. I mean it also looks like they've stolen some pub snacks off the bar as well. I mean, that's disgusting. Let's have a look what's in this cupboard. The fuck? That must be the... Uh, that must have been the, the last supper of the... Uh, the bloke that they found dead in the back of me. Oh, fuck me. Oh, no, no, another. Oh! What the fuck is wrong with the people who own these vans? You know when women or kids go missing and there's always a minivan seen at their last known location. This is that van. Right, there is actually a stove with a gas bottle here. Oh, <laughs> Which could be quite dangerous because, let's face it, the type of dude that's going to buy this van, they're going to come back here, doped out of the red, they're going to think, oh man, I'm going to have some soup, oh look, we've got some here, look, what have we got? Oh no, spaghetti rings, I'm going to have some spaghetti rings, man. He's going to leave the gas on, get into bed, light his spliff up, and bang. When the fire brigade turn up the next morning, all they're going to find is this burnt out shell of a VW van with a hog roast line in the back. What's this look at? A scratch map of Europe. I'm assuming all the areas in blue that have been scratched off are locations where this van has been. Well, how the fuck did they get to Iceland? I didn't know that these were amphibious. I mean the van is on nearly 300,000 miles so it's definitely been around the block. This must be the little stash of tableware from all the local pubs. I mean what the hell has the previous owner been injecting into their knackers? To draw all this shite on the roof. It looks like a notepad next to a phone. It's got this upgraded speaker system. Well, I'd imagine it only works if you're listening to bands like Pearl Jam or other 90s Tony Hawk pro skater fucking surf dude type bands. Mold, 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 mold. Well, the previous owner must have been listening to some shite because there's mold coming out of the speakers. Uh, the previous owner was Mr. Mould. And there's a passport for the previous owner, Mr. Mould. Ha, ah, that makes sense. He's from Barrow in Furnace. Probably the only surfboard this van's ever seen. More mould. Well, let's take it for a test drive. we go. Oh. Oh. Fuck, what have we crashed into? Listen to that! What the hell is that noise? Sounds like... I hope you can hear that, that's awful.
well, so there must be something wrong with this. It's absolutely gutless. Had to drop down into a second. And the smell! Bloody hell, it smells warm. I mean, the engine smells warm, but I'm certainly not. I'm not joking, I've come up this hill faster in a tractor. Jesus Christ! Come on! And the snow coming in through the window that I can't shut because I've left my mole grips at home. What the people seeing these? I mean, look at this now. I've stopped to let it cool down because it's getting very fucking warm. I'm just getting covered in snow. Like I say, I can't shut the window. I could probably get in the back, but it's that much effort to open the door because there's no door handle on the inside. I just can't be asked, so I'm just going to sit here and freeze to death. What a bloody awful van! Well, I appear to have got a puncture. Or maybe a farmer's put a hole in my tyre because I've parked in this field for three days while I go rambling. But because I spent all my savings and inheritance on this dream van man uh, I can't actually afford to get a new tyre or to get the puncture fixed properly so I'm going to have to use these dog shit things that uh, I stole from a truck stop when I went on a surfing holiday to Australia ah. fixed Well, that didn't work, did it? I mean, look at the state of this. Because the engine sits down so low in the van, it's actually lower than the wishbones at the front. So I've had to drive it up onto this stupid hobby ramp just to get the jack under, to get the wheel off. I mean, look at it all the way down there. You need a telescope to see it. You have to have great big long spaghetti arms to do any work on it. And there's a great big donkey dick where you put the oil in. And I can't jack it up at the side because, well, it's got these stupid chrome bars on. But even if they weren't there, I wouldn't be able to put the jack under the sill anyway, it just goes straight through. Well, I don't know if you could hear before, but I said it was making a funny sound. It was like a <laughs> sound, you know, like uh, a bit like that scene in Apocalypse Now where the helicopters are coming out of the rising sun and they assault the beach, you know. Room, Charlie, room! <laughs> Sounded like that. And it was getting very warm as well. Well, turns out the old Eric's are at it again. They tried to gas me. The seal where the downpipe attaches to the exhaust manifold are completely gone, so fumes are just spilling straight into the cabin. Now on pretty much every single vehicle, that's simple. Just unbolt the exhaust, put a new seal in, bolt it back up again. Every vehicle, except one of these. Because the exhaust is held together by these stupid clips, which are not flexible at all. You've got to somehow stretch them back on. Now, I've asked multiple qualified professionals on how to put these clips back on and they've all just said, oh fuck, and run away. But I beat the jerry bastards, just decided to hold it together with a pair of mole grips. So now, I'm not driving around in a mobile German shower. Well, there you go. Probably the most overrated van of all time. But I'm still going to ask you three grand for it. Because let's face it, there's going to be some pyjama wearing weirdos out there watching this who think, oh that's such a cool van man. So I'll tell you what, it's got 12 months MOT, bring you three grand and I'll drop it off outside the shit house of your choice. Scabs on my lips and I'll get him, they get out, bomb place, don't just make nine pound, barrels on the bay. Watch it, shops, you'll need a bomb, nine half beats, not the flop, not shit a crap souffle, days paid for me. Hey, oh, grab that truck, mark it, so I don't wanna see, hey, oh.